Hello! Welcome to Grand Arena. I won my last two phases, so uh, let's see if we can win this one. Uh, looks like this guy is not screwing around. Although he's got a little heavy on the defense. <sighs> Some high relics there. Alright, this is the one I'm most worried about. So, we want you, you, and you. And I can't put... I can't put the Brood Alpha in because he's on defense. So we'll try this. Like I said, this is... Jedi Knight Revan is still really annoying to fight, but... Oh, it's a slow Revan. Probably should have checked the speed on these. All right, let's throw that out there, and that, and, and then, there we go, and, got you death marked, and there we go. That pretty much, uh, Guarantees victory. So all we got to do is get rid of your freaking taunt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, still taunting. And all right, finally, I'll throw that out there. No, we got it. Uh, all right, now we've got it. Finish you off. Boop. Yeah, my uh, HK still needs some work. He's not really doing great, but uh, I suppose he's acceptable. Oh. Go away. Let's uh, heal. And there we go. So at least I got full health. 57 banners. Not bad. I, I hate burning Daka, but I'm probably not going to be using the Night Sister, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I'm going to come back to that. Let's go down here now. <sighs> How fast are you? Oh, you've got Mitch Mc ninety four. You have got mix and match. On the plus side, we have no um Malik. This team, unfortunately, usually only gets about fifty banners tops. But I would rather oh nice. I would rather have the win than the banners. Took care of you. Sucks. Okay, and... Oh, Nihilus is still there. There. 52 banners. Yeah, you don't get nearly as many banners with that team, but again, I would... I'll take the victory. Likewise this, I want the victory. No Zeta. So, I might actually have some survivors. Although that does mean fewer thermal detonators, but I should be able to manage it. So, let's pop that. That. Yeah, we're just, uh, just waiting for these guys to take a turn. There we go. Everyone's got defense up. Not that defense up lasts very long. Okay, so, yeah, now we're just uh, waiting for our, oh, there, there goes the spy. And someone else is down. Yep, keep healing. Oh, no, oh, yeah, there we go. 
I'll finish it off. 49 banners. But again, I'd rather have the victory. Alright, so let's see what's back here. Um, uh, oh! Well, that's a team. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. And then clones. No Zetas anywhere. That is... That's odd. So we got this. And we got this. So I am free to use Nest. Let's use Nest over here. All right, let me double check. Hang on. All right, so that's the ship zone. So we got First Order and Ewoks, whatever the uh, clones and whatever the hell this is. All right, so we are free to use Nest on the Ewoks. My nest is relic three in this. <laughs> it's odd that she's triggering as three because she was relic two and he's relic two. Oh, okay. This is that. Uh, I don't know if she's going in at relic three or not. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, she's going in at relic two. I raised her relic level, Wampa's relic level. And Visa Mars relic level after lock in. All right. So, okay, that makes sense. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, we are probably going to obliterate these guys. Good, good. Stun. Yep, bye Luke. That's okay. He served his purpose. Luke is only there to give Ness the tenacity. And yep, that, that takes care of that. Set to auto. And just let her do her thing. Mm, doo, doo, doo. Uh, there we go. 59 banners. Nice. And an undersized. I think I needed one more undersized for feats. Uh, man, I'm really not sure on that one. I'm tempted to run separatists. And then... Alright, let's... Uh, Zip on down to Sith. Try, uh, I'll just run the Triumvirate here. Triumvirate should be more than enough to deal with whatever this is. That's most of the map. Yeah, whatever. And then, boop! And then, isolate nest. Yep. Remove his taunt. Yeah, we are going to. Uh, yeah, let's let's get rid of Sam. Yeah, you're next, buddy. Nope, nope. You're next. Yeah, let's get rid of this jerk. Oh, go away, Django. There we go. Got that. And, yep, he's gone. Let's go ahead and do that for no real reason. Oh, come on. 
60 banners, I'll take it. And then this. I'll just, uh, yeah, that should be fine. This is probably overkill. Oh, Fives is in the leadership spot. That's unexpected. All right, uh, I guess we'll take out Rex. Or Echo. Uh, let's work on the Sarge. Get some healing. And there. Boom. 62 banners. Easy peasy. I really shouldn't say anything because my defense is nothing. There's no big shakes either. Now, if I was smart... And there's Kylo. Hi, Kylo. If I was smart, I would just go overkill and do Revan. But I re I'm really kind of tempted to do Separatists, but I think I'm just going to play this smart because I don't know what kind of fleet I'm going to face. So, grab you guys, and then put Kylo in here. Maybe squeeze out a, a first order kill. And then grab that and spread it. Oh, Jesus. Then drop you down and. Now let's see. Who is. Or the weak one. Right, and then. Nope, can't give it to you. Oh, whoops! That did more damage than I intended. Oh well. No Kylo win. Uh, yeah, that. That getting a kill with one of the Kylos is going to be tough. What do we got back here? Got Empire. Okay, it looks like he went kind of weak like I did on defense. So Thrawn. Just going to run my arena team. That's what I run in Fleet Arena. It works well enough for me to hover in the hundreds. I don't really care too much about ships. Ooh, got a dodge. Nice. Uh, let's put it on you. Or put it on nobody. Oh, ability blocked. Damn it. Oh, everybody's got ability block now. Well, oh. No follow up. Yep. Reinforcement. What do we got? Oh. That's uh, really annoying. You in, put on a breach to keep you taunting. There we go. Because I don't want Vader to strip that. Although, getting awfully close. Uh, let's just do a normal attack. Oh, whoops, oh well. And then, damn it, that's what I wanted to avoid. Let's drop that. Okay. And not quite enough damage. There goes my protection, and here comes another reinforcement. Uh, Try and go away. Uh, let's put you in. There. 60 banners. Mm, okay. I, I don't know what's good on ships. And go away. So, 1911, and he hasn't gone yet. 
And so for defense, just to show it off before I cut the video, I've got my rowdy bugs. Unfortunately, the counters to bugs are pretty well known. I think I might be able to stand up against a Jawa team like mine, though. Uh, he's Relic 3 Brood Alpha is pretty beefy. And he's got good speed, 133 speed. Um, unfortunately, when I spliced those, none of them spawned extra speed. So he, I was hoping to get him over 300, but it didn't happen. But yeah, he's got pretty good speed. He's got a lot of protection and health. And the brute hits like a truck. And then just a generic Bosk team. Uh, Embo's in there because I don't really have anywhere else to put him. And removing buffs is always handy. Dangar heals. Uh, I always want to call him Dax. Cad heals and... Zam does a surprising amount of healing, even though she's only gear 10. Um, and my Bosk is, as you can see, built for Tenacity. 125 before his leadership. His speed's not great, though. And then, just a... This is not a good First Order team, but um, these three all hit really hard, and my... I believe I've got pretty good speed on this guy. Yeah, 87. I mean, for a C team, that's pretty good. But my pilot... It's only 27, but he hits surprisingly hard. Especially with all the crits that he gets and the crit damage bonus. Uh, last round, that team actually held. And then down here, we've just got a generic Zal team and Ewoks. Ewoks sometimes get uh, underestimated. They're better modded than you'd think. I mean, again, they're a C team, so they don't have the best mods in the world. But, you know, 69 speed on a scrub isn't terrible. 59% crit chance. Yeah. They can be underestimated. They can also have their asses kicked, but sometimes they're underestimated. My plan with the Zal team is I unlocked Malak this last time around. He doesn't have any Zetas because I burned my Zetas unlocking him. I only had one saved up, but I burned it. But my thought is once I get him up to probably gear 10, and once I get at least one Zeta on him, I'm going to take the trooper out and stick him in this team on defense because... Five stars, even with both Zetas, uh, I'm, I'm not going to put him in my uh, arena team. I don't think he's ready for prime time yet. My arena team is Drevin, Hot Topic, Daka, Zombie, and Brood Alpha. So I've got the double tanks. Um, I, I don't want to take any of them out for Malik yet. At some point I might remove... Uh, Daka and Zombie for Malik and HK, but and I don't think they're there yet. But he'll fit in nicely with this team, and then that'll let me use a Sith Trooper somewhere. Then back here, we've got my mediocre Padme team and my getting better Old Republic team. Um, this was before lock in. Currently, they're much better. Uh, she's got the Zeta now and better mods. Uh, Zalbar is a couple of gear levels higher, I think. He's better modded. She's got an extra relic level. She's relic three now. He's the same. And then ships. I just went with an Empire team. Um, reinforcements. I've got the Emperor's shuttle. Uh, the, the the Death Troopers ship. Um, I don't know. Some other Empire stuff. Uh, maybe Kylo. I, I don't remember what I put on defense. It's just kind of some generic stuff to fill it out. Actually, let's... 
Let's hop over to characters real quick. Yeah, my Malik needs work. Treya's getting close. Poggle's in here for a uh, IG-88 ship. Uh, and you can see what I'm working on. And, yeah, here's my current Vesis. Level 3 Relic. Nice crit chance, an evasion chance. Oh, hey. I can slice that. Oh, more speed. That's nice. Uh, let's see. So, 90,000 health. I haven't really built her for speed. That's mostly incidental speed. Uh, I believe she's got an offense arrow. So, that's all secondaries. A little bit extra crit damage. But... Yeah, her damage is at 4,800. You, you can see that I built her for offense with an extra 1,000. That crit chance is really good. So she can hit surprisingly hard for a healer, especially with Piercing Strike, which bypasses uh, protection. So the, the, the sort of plan on that is to, you know, I'm replacing Juhani with her. And that... Using her, that'll that because Jihani's crap, but that boosts her up, and so she'll hit she'll hit harder, and sh potentially do a resurrection. Yeah, my Zalbar in Grand Arena is gear eight, and he's gear ten now. He'll eventually get to twelve. I've just got more important people to do. I do want him to twelve because I want him even tankier than he is now. I mean. 78% tenacity is fine. 44% or no. 42% armor. I do want to bring him up, but you know, there's a long line of people that need the stun guns more than him, like her. And mission is modded for offense and tenacity. I've got the gear 12 pieces. I just don't want to spend them. Karth will, at some point, get to 12, but he's even lower on the list than Zalbar. And my Candorus is doing okay. Got 1,200 extra offense. So he's he's modded pretty well. Him, I wouldn't mind taking him up to gear 13, but again, that's, that's going to take a little while. And then Sith Empire, as you can see, Malak is a work in progress, but I did just unlock him. Um, what does he need? Oh, Mark 6. I'd like to get him up to gear 13, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. He's getting almost 50% armor reduction, plus whatever this has given him, 100%. Um... I like my Sith Assassin, I just wish she hit harder. But she's all built for speed. 92. Yeah, her offense is really low. Okay, that's why she hits like a wet noodle. And HK is built for offense. I don't remember why that... I think that's mismatched for primaries. Actually, more than anything. 89 speed. Eh. Yeah, his damage is not great. I need to... I need to... Yeah, there's not much I can do to boost him. There's other people that need that more than him. Revan. It's a Revan. These are mismatched because they're the highest speed. Speed and primaries on that. Yeah, he's only got 122 speed. Yeah, I like that. Only 122 speed. Newt's got 117 speed. Dooku is no longer my fastest. Uh, Dooku now has Thrawn's old mod set. This is how Thrawn used to be modded uh, for the offense, because Thrawn hits like a truck. So it's only 106 speed on him. Because we gave Thrawn a really nasty speed set. This was this was Nest's old set. 
I used to have this on Enfy's Nest, but I switched her to a slow potency set. Yeah. Thrawn's a 303 speed. My Thrawn is fast. He's my only character above 300. Probe droids on the list. And I'd love to get all these all these guys, you know, Veer, Snow Trooper, TIE Fighter Pilot, Death Trooper, Stark, Shore Trooper. I'd love to get all of them up to gear 12, but it's not happening anytime soon. I'd love to up Royal Guard, but he needs a stun gun. He needs a stun gun or a Kerbantes, I forget which. Either way, he ain't getting them. Magma Trooper's like this for uh, Sith Raid. He was my go-to in Phase 1 before I got a really solid resistance team in case you were wondering. And then, speaking of Nest, yeah, she's on a straight potency set now, so she's only got 16 speed, but, or tenacity set, she's got 162% tenacity. Uh, basically, you've got a, it's got to be a Revan team to get a debuff on her, or someone that gives a whole ton of debuffs, so she's she is beefy. Oh, yeah. Relic 4 Daka. That adds a lot of health. 15,000 health. So she's currently in my climbing team. 100 speed. She's a pretty fast Daka. And, uh, yeah. 106,000 base health. Nice. Yeah, so she can take a... Uh, I use the Darth Revan team with her and Brood Alpha to fight Revan teams, Jedi Knight Revans, and she can take a, a focus right to the face and barely even notice. And my Grievous, I think I've shown him off. He hasn't changed any since the last time. 131,000 health. 48 speed. I need to make this whole team faster, but... I'll have to wait. And he's, you know, he's got the 72% crit chance, so he's always critting, unless he's got um, Corrupted Battle Meditation, but you're not critting with that anyway. Let me show off the Wampa. I like the Wampa. He's not great. Um, if I ever see Phoenix teams, he beats the shit out of them. Um, but he is a lot of fun. He is possibly my favorite character, used to be TIE Fighter Pilot, but I think he's my favorite character now. And, yeah, he doesn't have Furious Folks. I don't think it's worth it. I would love to put that Zeta on him and max him out, but eh, I don't think it's worth it. But, yeah, so 92,000 health. No, 102,000 health. 119 speed. That was really hard to manage. Because he is a slow motherfucker. To get him up to 266. 222% crit damage. Yeah, look at that. 6390. Yeah, he hits really hard. I would like to raise his relic level up. I just... Relics are just a pain in the ass. If they come out with another relic pack, I might buy it just to top a couple people off. And then, you know, so many G12s. I don't think there's anybody else that's interesting. Yeah, my Chewbacca, whatever. Savage. <laughs> this guy. This. I think I brought him up to gear 12 just because I had the part lying around. He was at gear 11 plus 5 for the longest time. But this guy was built like this. 37,000 health, the speed. He was built like this back when we were having trouble doing heroic tank. That's what I built up Savage for. That's why he's got the Zeta. was for heroic freaking tank. Phase 3. Remember when that was a thing? Zombie. I wouldn't mind gear 13ing her. Rex. 
those two are the same, so he's only got two that he's able to do. Kenobi I should at some point. Sun fact. I would like to relic Night Sister. Acolyte. I know she's not the primary one that we that people use, but I really like her. And mine has since slowed down. She used to be faster. But she's got pretty good twenty seven and 53 special damage. Sacrificial magic is special damage. She hits hard. I would love to give her this relic. But uh, those are needed on, yeah. Those are needed and everything else. It's just, uh, I just can't pull the trigger yet. Mm, Princess Leia, that's from Sith Raid, Phase 3. I used to... Leia team under Akbar. Talia was just because I was building up my Night Sisters. Poe Dameron, that's from when the Finn Zeta team was counter meta. He has been degraded a lot since then, though. And look at this. Still got this four star mod because it's got plus 12 speed, and I don't want to give it up. But he is, yeah, he's slowed down a lot. He used to be at like 258, I think. But I've been, I've been cannibalizing his mods slowly over time because I just don't use him anymore. Resistance Trooper was from that same team. Cup was just on a lark. Tie Fighter Pilot, he's been like this since before Gear Twelve existed. Back when that didn't exist, and yeah, back when that piece didn't exist, and I this piece didn't exist. So back when the best he could be was eleven plus four before Gear Twelve existed, he was geared this high because he used to be part of my arena team. He has also slowed down considerably. He used to be a lot faster. But I switched him to an offense set, so he hits a lot harder than he did. He used to have a speed set. And, yeah, now we're getting into just random crap. Sister uh, Spirit I'd like to raise, but, again, got priorities. Aura I'd love to raise, but got priorities. Magna Guard, same story. First Order, Special Forces, I'd do him. Kira's not going anywhere. We're slowly working on what? 16. Yeah, so there's the squad. Oh, let's pull up Asajj. I'd love to gear, I'd love to relic 7 Asajj as well, but again, other people. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters. As you can see, she's pretty tricked out. So, not bad on that. 211 speed. She probably doesn't need to be that fast. Because she was primarily being used in the Sith Raid. I wouldn't mind her being a little bit faster, though. 225 crit damage, thanks to the Relic. 71 potency. Yeah, 44 and 44. So she hits pretty hard. And then Rampage kicks in. And just... Yeah, she... Once she gets going, she is just a machine. So I think that's it. I think that's everybody worth looking at. Yeah, Luke's nothing special. Ray's nothing special. Yeah, none of these people are anything special. My Scion. Uh. Alright, if anybody watching this wants to put in the comments, what am I doing wrong with my Scion? I got... Let's go over it, because he does not seem to last long, so he's got good speed there. I 6 e the defense mod to boost his defense more. I'm, I'm running health there. I need to improve that. Again, a lot of things. Health there. Protection there. 102 offense. He's running a speed primary there. He's got 97,000 combined health and protection. Is that good? 219 speed, that seems to be 
you know, pretty standard for most non-main teams. 33, 51% armor, 34% resistance, but my Darth Scion, a lot of time in fights, he just gets melted. He does not seem to have the survivability that every every Scion I face is like fighting a brick wall. And every time I use my Scion, it, it he doesn't do much. And I'm not even talking about against Relic teams. I'm talking about on par teams, Gear 12 teams. You know, he's 12 plus 3. He's got the bonkers armor. He's got the multi-tool. He's got the visor. So he's got all the armor from this. You know, I, I don't have... I, I mean, I, I could put that on him, but I keep thinking there's someone better to put it on. That was a raid thing. And, you know, we're not even talking about the power cell injector. Just straight gear 12 versus gear 12 he does not seem to do as well as every scion i face and i'm not i, I don't know what i'm doing wrong with him should i switch these two to protection primaries is that what it is is it just i don't have enough protection on him i should be focusing on that instead of health like i said i mean 82 speed seems reasonable. He's got, you know, 8,000 and 17,000 bonus health and protection. Should I drop that and pour it into the protection? I mean, I'm that 51% armor should be doing a lot. Is it just I'm facing special damage guys, so it's getting less reduction? I don't know. So, uh, any, uh, and with this one, should it be health protection, crit avoidance? I'm thinking maybe not crits because I think that helps the others. I don't know. So, have any of you got any ideas? Help a guy out because I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on with my Scion. He, he seems to underperform. Whereas my Nihilus is mostly focused on speed, but he's not as fast as I'd like him. It's only 92. And, yeah, we're working on Treya, but I need the shards to finish off. I've almost got this done. Just need five more, and I will have both of these done, and then I just need a normal stun gun. Um... Treya is currently built for survivability, which doesn't seem like much. She's rocking a crit avoidance. Crit chance? I think I just had that for the speed and the protection. And then tenacity, protection, and 17 feet. So my, my Treya is fine. She generally seems to do okay. I mean, I, she's more fragile. She's not a tank, but Scion just... He's just getting rocked, and I don't know what's going on with that. So if any of you watching have any suggestions for uh, fixing up my Scion, I'm all yours. And this recording has been going on way longer than I expected, and I need to start dinner. So I think that'll do it. I will catch all you guys later. Ah. Uh, and uh, until next time, have a good one.